So we're back. So we're back with the beautiful and talented Miss Quinty Weaver, Miss 1910. May you please tell us a little bit about yourself? We apologize. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm good. We How are stuff you? like that does not happen. We, we, don't, we don't need stuff like <laughs> that. He watched it. Like he was. Uh, <laughs> my man watched it. He looked like Malcolm X's grandson. What is this? Child, I got scared. He had the black shades yeah, on. Yeah, so he, he had the black shades on. Oh he had the black God. fist on his chain. The federal Lord. government, girl. The federal like, government came up in here. I'm like, what's going on? Okay. Yes. <laughs> The new version of the new version of the Black uh, Panthers movie just walked yes. up in here. Yes, oh, okay. oh, the Purple Rain so, shirt. I'm feeling that. Everybody okay. knows. He knows. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Told. I'm sorry. He, um, he almost caught it. My name is Quintico Weaver. I'm a freshman here at North Carolina Central University. Um, my major is nursing with a concentra concentration in childbirth. And uh, last Friday, I was named as 1910 in okay. 2016 Miss Residential Life Pageant. In case anyone don't know, that's the first runner up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, just yeah, putting yeah, that out there. Know, you know. Know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and I mean, I, my goal while I'm in this position is just to inspire young women to be themselves and mm -hmm. to love who they are. And, um, you know. That's me. So can you explain a little bit more about your um, platform, like the title and things like that? Because I know you just touched on it briefly, but can you explain like what inspired you to come up with the platform? Okay, sure. Um, my platform is entitled, We Are Here, Promoting Women's Empowerment and Bringing Awareness to Different Issues that Young Women Here on Campus Face. Um, what inspired me to do this is because um, when I'm with my friends, we always talk about different things, whether it be sex or mm -hmm. drugs or self-esteem issues and so I think it would be great to uh, get the young women on campus here together and to have like you know weekly meetings and talk about it because you know us as young women we deal with a lot here on campus so right. you know I definitely want to get the young women involved here on campus. That's what's up. So I mean you're a strong black woman. You know. Woman. Wait. Yes, you said it right. Because you know how people be like, oh one man, a one man. <laughs> yes. So you're a strong black woman, so we, you know, applaud you for that. Who you. um is your greatest motivation? My greatest motivation is my mother. Um, You know, she always made things happen. You know, she was always, you know, very big on me getting an education. And she, even though she didn't go to college, she always put it on me. Like, as soon as I was born, she was like, you're going to college. So, you know, she's my greatest inspiration. She inspires me. You know, we talk every morning. She... It encourages me every morning before I start my day. We pray, you know. So, yeah, right. my mom, definitely. That's what's up. So, tell us, what was the hardest part? Well, before we even get there, but what was the pageant process like? <laughs> what was the pageant Child. process like? Oh, my God. Dwayne, you know that. All the way. Was it that hard? Jeez. Child, let me tell you how it is. closer as a group um the biggest part for me was I had to learn how to come out of my shell and stop being so shy and to be confident and that this pageant really brought that out of me mm -hmm. um the process was not easy I'm not gonna lie and say it was it was not easy however if this is something you really want you're gonna go hard for it regardless mm -hmm. so you know um I would tell anybody that wants to go through this process you need to be a strong individual right. and you have to really like just you have to sometimes you have to take one for the team you know um but you know i think whoever is in the process with you at the end y'all all gonna become family like i see people from the pageant even now even after we've won titles and stuff and we're still cool it's all love so you know it's a great experience it's a great experience that's what's up that's what's up. you know what i mean good night Oh, not I'm not night. doing this. You know me, grab my thing. Yo, Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne would leave on spot, honey. Dwayne was not having it. I was okay? not having it. <laughs> it was not. Good night. Yeah, he really a pain in the neck like that. He was. Was he? I mean, I not for me. It. It was, not it. for me. Not for me. It was entertainment for me. But <laughs> Dwayne gave them headaches, honey. Okay. Dwayne. He Dwayne care. is. A, Dwayne is a story. He Dwayne voices is a story. his. He voices opinion daily. Good. Okay. I ain't mean to. You know what I'm saying? But things happen. You know. What I'm saying? So but I mean, has, through all that, though, Dwayne is my Mr. 1910. Yes, so. okay. Honey, like, you know, we, Mr. Uh, you know. So, how has the experience been after the pageant? As in terms of how was your family proud of you? Like, what did you do after? How was the reception now that you're Miss 1910? Um, well, when I actually got named if people was there at the pageant they saw i was very emotional i cried um yes, did, i was, was up there you know shedding tears because it's very you know when you work so hard for something you're very happy once it finally comes to you and you know you can have validation for your title um afterwards though i think it just brought more um attention toward me mm -hmm. like i've been on campus and 
since ever since Friday night, people came up to me like, "Oh my God, you know, you did great in the pageant." You know, da, da, da. so I think it just it just makes your popularity. I could, if I want to say, go up a little bit because right. people are definitely looking at you now. They're definitely like, "All right, you know, she won this title, so now what she's about to do?" So I think. Um, as far as my family, oh, they were very proud, honey, because I have been in pageants before and not got nothing. So oh, for really? me to get two trophies, honey. Wow. Okay, we were really, you know, my, 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 my mother and my parents, they were very, very proud. They were very, they were crying themselves. So, Aww. you know. Yeah, it was very emotional time. So, yeah. That's what's up. So, are you planning to team up with any organizations to help implement your uh, platform on campus? And what can we expect in the full, you know, for 2016. I definitely want to team up with um, different organizations on campus. Um, I just want to make sure that it's right. I don't want to jump into something and it's not right because I'm very passionate about my platform. Um, I want to make sure it's right. Uh, as far as when the fall comes, we uh, we will definitely get the, the, the wheels rolling. Um, I definitely want to go ahead and start, you know, implementing my program and my platform right. here on campus because I feel like it's very needed. Um, you know, just like the incident that happened on one of our residence halls last night. That's something that needs to be addressed and right. taken care of. So I definitely want to go ahead and start promoting my uh, platform. So fall definitely will be. We will have the wheels rolling definitely. That's what's up. So before we let you go, I want to touch on your talent because you had wrote an original monologue, honey. The average black girl, honey. So oh yes, I was feeling that one. The I was feeling that black one. Girl. She said, "I'm not." Can you drop a line for us real quick, honey? You want me to say honey, drop a line so for much, us. honey? It's, so any, much. Any line, drop a line. <laughs> Let me see. I have to remember it. Oh, um, no. That, this, is, this is post-title, honey. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me see. What is, one of my favorite lines was, I think, when I said, um, I'm an average black girl with dark cocoa brown skin, Ooh. curves, brown eyes, and I got thick thighs. Thick thighs. That was yes. one of my favorite thick lines. Thighs. So and that was, thighs the line, I think, that was the line that got the crowd hype. So I was really, I was very impressed yes. with that line. Like, yes. Thick thighs save lives. So you, oh, Lord. You guys say shut up. Save thighs. Thighs. Right. Not save lives. Not save lives, buddy. Okay, so I know you wrote it, and it was phenomenal. It was amazing. It was creative. Tell me, what? What inspired that process of you writing that monologue? You know, did you get any help? Were you watching something? Or did it just come to you? Like, um, As far as me getting help, I got absolutely no help. I actually wrote that in 10 minutes. To be wow. Completely. Yeah, I wrote that in 10 Go minutes. Go ahead, girl. Because um, right. at first, if people don't know, my, my original talent was dancing. Um, but they told me I need to find another one. So I found a new talent. And it was, um, I, I, they, they told me it had to be due, I think, the next night. And so I had not did it. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to just try to write this out. So I wrote it. I wrote that in 10 minutes. Um, what inspired it is, I think, my personal experiences, I went to an all-white high school. Mm -hmm. And when I was in high school, they just always was like, you know, you don't act like the average black girl. You know, like, you talk white. You're very punctual. Oh, you're very, you know, you're very, you don't act like, you know, black girl. So I kind of took that. I don't know if they meant it as offensive way, but I took it offensive because, you know, the average black girl is so much more than what people, you know, try to portray an average black girl is a very strong individual and that's why i say in my monologue do you mean the average black woman who made 22 trips to the underground railroad and, right. you know things like that so I, I want to bring light on that issue because um we are so victimized all the time as being loud and ghetto and all this and, and while sometimes we are that sometimes we're loud because we feel like our voices are not being heard right and so we need to be heard that's what that's really what the what the monologue was about i'm very happy with the end product and um i i I actually felt it when I got on stage and performed it, so I'm very happy about it. I'm very proud of that monologue. So yeah. Oh, that's what's up, honey. Well, you know what? We thank you for coming by the Juice Miss 1910. Yes. Hey, get it. It's like, hey, get it. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> So we appreciate you coming by. We're just looking forward to some great things from you, Miss 1910, Miss Quintiqua Weaver, honey, doing her thing, inspiring nice black girls. Yes. Do you plan to get into like some mentorship programs coming of up? Of course, of course, of course. My whole my whole thing is just to inspire young black women. Yes. Like, we have to get out there and do our thing, like regardless. We have to. I, I want to see more black women be business women, and you know what I'm saying. Right. So definitely, um, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Well, that's what's up, Quintiqua. We thank you. We love you. You heard it here. This is the juice. Keep it locked, thank right? Thank you. It goes down in the field. It go down. It go down.